Hey guys, John here with AccessoryGeeks.com. I'm going to do a quick benchmark on the T-Mobile G2 and the Epic 4G. We're going to do um, a couple benchmarks to test the GPU power on both these devices. Even though they're both not Samsung phones, I just want to give you um, an idea of where they or how they stack up with one another. Again, the G2 is running the 800 megahertz uh, Scorpion. The Epic 4G is running the 1 gigahertz Hummingbird. So let's go ahead and run NeoCore. I'm going to go ahead and run. Okay, and we're going to have both of them do the benchmark. So, whoops. And I did the interactive mode. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try this again. Benchmark, benchmark. There you go. I'll go ahead and hold both of them up for Now the Epic did start a little before the G2, so let's see if it catches up. They're about even. There you go, 55.6 frames per second on the G on the Epic. 57.6 frames per second on the G2. So a lot of you worried about the 800 megahertz compared to the the 1 gigahertz. Um, don't be. The 800 is a capable processor and it does have a very strong GPU. So now the next test we're going to run is the FPS 2D. So I'm going to get that here and get this here. And they're both running right now. And they're over both averaging about 55, so you're not going to see that much of a difference compared to Neo Core. They're probably going to result in the same frame per seconds. But I just wanted to run the benchmark so you guys can get the idea. The G2 runs an average of 57 with a standard deviation of 8.87. Hummingbird, 55, with a standard deviation of 4.61. So there you have it. This 800 megahertz Scorpion processor that a lot of you might be worried that, oh no, it's not a 1 gigahertz processor, is really capable of holding its own. Um, it does have a really you know good GPU unit, and it's comparable to the Epic 4G. So that's going to conclude our quick little GPU benchmark on both of these phones. This is John from AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.